Hi everyone, Chef Mark at Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom and I am back in the laboratory. Happy New Year everyone. Uh, what's different? My apron. Check it out. Please remain, please remain calm, I love it. A little emoji, thank you to Gina for creating my little icon. These are gonna be available soon on my website. Website, you say? Yeah, celebritychefmarkk.com. Go check it out. We're getting these ready for 2022. Hope you love them. Leave a comment uh, below if you're interested in one. Okay, what am I here to talk about? Top three gadgets for 2022. Before I get started, go ahead, click that like and subscribe. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, gadget number one. The pasta maker. Is this really a gadget? Well, to me it is. To me, a gadget is anything that defined as a machine that helps you do a job that you can do by hand. And you certainly can roll pasta by hand with a rolling pin and you can cut it with a knife. So I think of this as a gadget. And I do cooking classes, both virtual and in person, uh, for appliance factory fine lines. And um, making pasta, ravioli and pasta, is something that we do. Uh, and it's been extremely popular recently. And I think the reason being is because it's a craft. Uh, making pasta is not hard, but it's something that I think you need to do pretty frequently to just get comfortable with. Uh, the dough is super easy to make. Two and a half cups of flour, four eggs, pinch of salt, tablespoon or two of oil, knead, rest, roll. And then from there, you can do a million things with it. And it's a lot of fun. I have a family tradition where we roll out pasta with my nieces and nephews and we roll this sucker out 20 feet long. So it goes through the kitchen, through the dining room, into the living room, and then we cut big long sheets of pasta and it's a lot of fun. It might not taste great, it's a little dry, but who cares? We have a great time. So that's why I think the pasta machine is my number one gadget for 2022. Um, if you're gonna buy one, I recommend getting the Atlas brand. Uh, this is the 150, it's 150 millimeters wide. They do make one a little wider, I believe it's a 170. Um, I think that's a little overkill if you're doing it by hand, and I'll tell you why. Because if you're hand cranking, it's really wide. You can, it, it gets tiring after a while. Um, KitchenAid does have these uh, for attachments that go on a KitchenAid, and the machine does most of the work. Those work great, but um, I actually kind of prefer to do it by hand because to me, it pulls people together. I can have friends and family, customers helping me with this, and it's a ton of fun. Number one. All right, let's go check out gadget number two. The ricer. Um, instrumental for making great mashed potatoes. What is a ricer, you may ask? Well, it is a device that pushes potatoes through these holes um, and they come out the other end appearing like rice, hence the name ricer. And this is what you need for fluffy, perfect mashed potatoes. If you're taking your potatoes and you're whipping them forever, they're gonna get gummy and they're gonna be like wallpaper paste. So you wanna move your potatoes as little as possible. I'm not endorsing any products, however, I will say that the best one I feel on the market is by Shuffin which is the word chef, apostrophe N. And the reason I like this is because they have this gear set here, which makes it extremely easy to push potatoes through. I actually have two of these if I'm making mashed potatoes for 10 or 12 people. It takes four or five minutes for everybody to take turns pushing potatoes through. I add hot cream and butter, lots of salt and white pepper, and potatoes are marvelous. If you don't have one of these and you want great potatoes, Go ahead and pick one up uh, online or in person at your favorite kitchen supply store and check out the description below for a recipe on how to use this. And gadget number three for 2022, it's sous vide. And I consider this a gadget because I'll tell you what, um, it's a small countertop appliance that um, can fit anywhere in any kitchen. Uh, these come in a bunch of different styles. This happens to be the kitchen gizmo. Um, they make this wire and wireless. Um, I like the wired one for in kitchen and a wireless one for camping. What is sous vide, you might ask? We have a, a video in the description, uh, but of course, let me just review that really quickly. This heats water, holds the temperature, and 
um, sets a time and a little impeller down here, a little blade that spins. What it allows me to do is uh, vacuum pack my food, drop it in a water bath, and this does all the cooking. Last step, I just put a quick sear on this uh, for just delicious food. Now that sounds like a lot of steps. Um, and Suvi sounds complicated, but once you try it a couple times, you're like, oh, where has this been my whole life? Um, and it's gadget because, well, you can technically do this by hand. You could heat up water and stir and put a thermometer in there. That's how sous vide was invented. A bunch of French chefs invented sous vide back in the uh, mid-70s. And uh, they would actually have some poor kitchen assistant uh, straight out of culinary school, stirring the pot, adjusting the heat. Um, so this really simplifies this. Um, the prices come way down on sous vide devices. When I started in um, culinary school and sous vide was just coming to America back in the early uh, mid 90s rather, um, these machines were thousands of dollars. Now they're 65 bucks. So it's worth it to try it. And uh, there's a million recipes out there, including the recipes that I have uh, on my YouTube channel. So sous vide, pasta machine, and eraser. Uh, so far, it's early in 2022, but based on what um, I'm hearing from the people that I work with, these are the hot topics this year. So check them out. Check out the links in the description. Like and subscribe. I'm Chef Mark with Appliance Factory. Thanks for tuning in.